Hi there, this is Jeff, and I'm going to go over how to get the artwork ready for the 3 foot wide by 12 foot tall Triga Quad Tower, and this tower has four sides to it. So to start off with, what I'm going to do is just drag the template into Photoshop. And as this opens up, there's a couple things I want to check as we get started here. The first one is I want to make sure that's in CMYK color mode. And as it opens, you can see on the tab here, it is indeed in CMYK. If for some reason it opens in RGB, you want to switch that over. And you do that by going to Image, Mode, and you just make sure that CMYK is selected. The next thing you want to do is you want to check the resolution. Now this template is already at 100% size. This is a full size template. And so the appropriate resolution is going to be 125 DPI. And I can check that by going to Image, image size, and you can see under resolution here it says 125 dpi. So I know that that's good. I can go ahead and click out of there. Now that we have the template open here, a couple things to point out. One is this template is actually uh, representing all four sides. And so as you do your layout and you do the artwork, you don't just do one side at a time. You can actually design the entire template accounting for all four sides. So if you have a design that kind of spills over from one side into another one, um, this is a, a great template for that. Uh, the next thing is you want to actually design right on top of the template. So you want to leave this open as its own separate layer over here, uh, but you can begin adding everything in like your logos, any pictures, you can add your text, all on top of the template here. Just make sure everything is its own separate layer because when you get to the end, and you're all done, you want to go ahead and either uh, delete or hide the template layer. And you're just going to be left with your finished artwork. So you can actually add in your logos by going to File and Place. And you can start browsing your computer and just dropping everything in right on top of the template. Next thing is you'll notice there's certain things like bleed. And if I zoom in here by pressing Control and Plus, I can look around the edges and you can see here's a full two inches of bleed there. Um, it will also show where the corners are. So as one side leads into another side, uh, the trigger towers have a little bit of a curve to it. And so that's accounted for here, the five inches where it kind of wraps around from one side to the next. But all in all, this is a really good template that will make sure that the placement and everything is really accurate. So what I want to do now is I want to actually show you an example of some artwork that does fit the template really well and it'll give you a good idea of what we're looking for. Okay, so here's some artwork that fits the template really well. This is just an example. Uh, you can see here that there's the logo kind of up at the top of the tower and it's on all four sides and you have kind of one main image and this image is going to wrap all the way around the tower. And it fits the template really well. And I know that if I go over to the artwork layer and I just right click and I go to blending options, I can actually move the opacity down on the artwork and it will reveal the template right underneath it. So I can make sure, okay, well, is the logo centered in between uh, each side and how's everything else look? So that's a good way of doing that is to just move the opacity down. And again, you do that by right clicking on the layer and going to blending options. And here's the slider for the opacity. Okay, once you've done that, we can actually check the resolution at this point. It's really important that none of the elements are going to be pixelated or, you know, just low resolution. So we can check that by going to control and plus, or if you're using a Mac, you can press command and plus. And you want to zoom all the way in until about one inch equals one inch in real life. So here's 71 inches, here's 72 inches, and that's about one inch in real life. And this will actually represent really well what it's going to look like after it's get, it gets printed out. And you can use the Navigator tool if you go to Window and you click on Navigator. Over here, you can just click on it and I can drag it around and I can check the resolution and everything. So here I can see, here's the logo and it's really crisp. Uh, the background image actually has a filter on it, so it's supposed to look that way, but this will really allow you to look at the resolution as well uh, to make sure everything is uh, looks good. So once you're done there, you can press Control and minus or Command and minus and zoom all the way back out. <clears throat> and at this point, this is a good opportunity to actually save 
a copy of your working layered file. So if you need to make any changes now or in the future, you can revert back to that layered file and make those changes. So once you've done that, you're ready to go ahead and get it ready to save for the file that you will send over. And what you'll want to do is actually delete the template layer. So here, here's the template layer and you can actually hide it or delete it all together. I usually just drag it and delete it. So one final step, you need to actually flatten this. And that's why I like using Photoshop is it's got the full flatten feature on there and it kind of locks everything in place and it makes it a more manageable file to upload. And you do that by going to layer and flatten. And for a big file like that, it can take a little bit of time, but you'll want to go ahead and flatten the image and that will give you the print ready document. So once you've done that, final steps is saving it. Go to file, save as, and when we're dealing with a really big file like this, I mean, this is for a 12 foot tall tower, um, you might have to save it as a .psb, which is a large Photoshop document file. Um, because sometimes a PDF, uh, it won't allow you to save it as a PDF, which is fine. So either way, if it does allow you to save it as a PDF, great. Uh, oftentimes for a really big document, I'll just go ahead and save it as a large document uh, Photoshop file, a PSB. And that's it. That's going to be the file that you upload and send over. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thank you.